Yeah. Are you guys ready for this? We're ready. Well, apparently, Sarni is up. Fair enough. Not yet. They could trade. They could trade this right now. Well, it doesn't matter. We're getting one of our two camp. Once, you, once you're in that situation, Yakupov is gone. Yep. Oh, well, here we go, boys. We're getting that guy. OHL. We just don't know if he's going to show up. Hey, Chris, it's Cam Russell from the Mooseheads. Good. How you doing? That's good. Uh, all right. If we make our selection now, okay, we'll take uh, Martin Frick. F R K. Yep. And he played for Karlovy, K-A-R-L-O-V-Y. Next word, very, V-A-R-Y. Uh, he's from the Czech Republic. It is the 5th of October, 1993. Last team was Karlovy, K A R L O V Y. He's a forward, left wing. Six feet, 190. Uh, undrafted, draft year 2012. Thanks, Lucas. Ciao. There he is, boys. Well done. Uh, good job, Cameron. Uh, we felt that he was the best. Player available in the draft, uh, so when uh, when his name was still available at third pick, uh, we were excited to uh, select him. Tell us a little bit about the, the player. Well, he's uh, he's like I said before, he's a power forward. He's uh, he's a strong skater, excellent hands. He's not afraid to go to the dirty areas. Uh, Cam Neely type player, so he's going to be a very exciting player to watch. I know you said prior to the draft that there were, there were three players that that uh, you were prepared to draft. Can you share the two other names? No, I don't want to share the other names, but uh, like I say, uh, you know, we, we felt that Martin Frick was the best player in the draft. Uh, we selected him, but uh, now there's still a lot of work to be done right now. We've got to uh, go after him and, and make sure that, uh, that we can get him here. And, uh, you know, we look forward to that challenge, but uh, he's, he's going to be, uh, he's just, he's a heck of a hockey player. Tell us a little bit how difficult it can be in, in securing the player once you drafted him, because I know that in the past it's, it always seems there's a, it's, it's, a, it's a risky proposition. How, how confident you are he will report? Well, there's no guarantees. I mean, it's a draft. You take the best player available and, and then you go to work. Uh, you know, we know there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, there's a lot of work ahead of us, so uh, we look forward to that because we feel that uh, it's worth the risk to select a player of his caliber. What are, what are some of the, the bigger issues, Cam, to, to secure Frick? Well, to get him out of his country, he's playing for another hockey team over in the uh, Czech Republic right now. So to, to go over there to, to convince him to come play in the CHL, uh, sometimes Europeans are, are more apt to stay at home, play for the national teams. But uh, we feel that uh, we can uh, offer him an excellent chance to be drafted in the NHL if he comes over here to play in the CHL. So, uh, you know, like I say, there's, there's work to be done, but we're excited. And, and where do you see him fitting in the lineup? Is he... Would he definitely be a top two line, someone perhaps who would play on the power play? Well, yeah, definitely that's what we're hoping for. Uh, like I said before, there's no guarantees, but we feel that he's capable of coming in here and being a top two line player for us. Uh, uh, he's that type of player of that caliber.